Welcome to SchoolNet's webinar series of past finalists and winners in Microsoft's Partners in Learning Forum in South Africa. I am Fiona Beale and I am hosting this webinar. I would like to introduce you to Glenn Williams from Port Elizabeth who will now tell us about his project called Silent Morals. Over to you, Glenn. Right, so my name is Glenn Williams and my project is called Silent Morals. Let me just tell you about myself and about my school. Um, I work at Sandwich Primary in Port Elizabeth, the friendly city, uh, where I teach computer literacy and Kami mathematics. Um, I'm also the head of the computer department and I run the computer club as well. Right, let me just go on to the next slide here. There we go. My project is about the following. Um, I had my grade six learners use what they learned in basic programming to explore and create an animated silent movie which depicts some kind of moral value or lesson. You will see that I start and end this presentation with the word fun because I believe that education must be engaging in a fun way. Projects allow learners the freedom to experiment with what they have already learned in a structured way and forces them to explore things which they have not learned yet without relying on a teacher. One focus was on boosting programming skills by teaching learners to apply solid logical reasoning, systematic problem solving and careful planning. It compels learners to be very creative in design, content and implementation. The second focus was on the moral values. By asking open-ended questions and encouraging them to communicate on a higher level, learners thought about morals in general and gained an in-depth understanding of specific moral issues. Through observation and collaboration, they studied real-world morals on the playground, at home and elsewhere. My project was long-term, stretching over a period of more than three months. Learners were able to work on their project at home too, over weekends and even during the holidays as well. I gave my learners a couple of ideas to get them started, but they had complete freedom to portray whichever moral issue they chose. Most of them chose something which affects them directly, like bullying, or something which they had a strong opinion about, like animal cruelty. Learners knew right from the start what was expected of them. I worked through the marking schedule and displayed it on the wall for learners to refer to at any time. This allowed them to see where they will score easy marks and where they really have to work for it. Because the animations were silent, learners had to use clever visuals, appropriate speech bubbles and perfect timing to be aware of spelling and grammar in order to bring their message across in a way that was clearly understood. The project tackles real world problems like illegal download of music. Learners had to ident identify a moral issue before presenting the problem and solution in a fun way which grade three learners could relate to. Some animations were presented to the grade three teachers to be viewed by their learners and teach them about morals in general. YouTube was also used. We also used Facebook, Twitter, the school newsletter, our school communicator and our school website to point viewers to our YouTube videos. We also used the data projectors in our computer labs to display the moral silent, silent movie animations on a continuous loop during break times where the kids gather. Learners had to explore and experiment figure things out for themselves. And when they were st really stuck, I helped them in such a way that they answered their own questions. This project is cross-disciplinary as the problem-solving element reaffirms what they learn in technology and the moral aspect of the project ventures in into social sciences and life orientation. A long list of 21st century skills were practiced. Careful planning, effective time management, meeting deadlines were all instrumental to the success of this project. 
They learned how to communicate on a high level when problem solving and collaborating with their peers. Knowledge building and the use of ICT devices gave them the power and confidence they needed. Learners had to collaborate with friends, parents, or professionals to research their chosen moral issue and observe the interaction between people. The grade threes had to learn from the grade sixes project. I wanted to test my learners' knowledge of computer programming by utilizing their own determination and competitiveness, and importantly, practice problem solving. It was excited, exciting to see how they use technology besides computers to record scenes and events by using sound recorders, video cameras, and camera phones. I anticipated that some sensitive matters might surface, as in the case of abuse. Therefore, I chose to have learners complete this project on an individual basis. That said, collaboration still took place. Negotiation and development of people skills were definite advantages, as learners had to help each other or simply show off with their programming skills. They questioned some methods and praised each other's accomplishments. It was fantastic to listen to them reason and debate on different methods of getting a script to execute flawlessly. Knowledge building played a fundamental role. Learners had to go far beyond what was taught in the classroom as a foundation and explore most of the programming commands they needed on their own. Learners then had to familiarize themselves with a chosen moral issue well enough to be able to explain it to someone else through an animation. Assessment took place continuously. Learners self-assessed every time they added programming statements to the script. Peer assessment took place regularly when learners showcased their work to their classmates. Their own compliments and criticism, and often envy, was very encouraging to them. I used a formal assessment at the end of the project to grade the animations my learners put together. I think I'm a forward thinker. My projects put the work I've done into context and gives it meaning. It also, I also think of myself as a proactive teacher. The work which we do here at Sunridge is very engaging and definitely de deviates from the normal boring computer classes. My learners often come back to me after they've been to high school in grade eight and grade nine and tell me about the boring work they do at high school. This project is another example of where I take my learners out of their comfort zone, out of the classroom, by using an engaging project to address a real world problem. And all of this in an interdisciplinary way. And practice a whole range of 21st century skills. All of this while still having fun. Well, that is basically my, my story. That was Glenn Williams from Port Elizabeth telling us about his project, Silent Morals. Thank you very much for sharing with us, Glenn. Good night, everyone.